My name is Hisham Etwarav and I'm from Morocco. I'm an English language teacher currently as an EFL teacher. And I work for the Ministry of National Education here in Morocco. Uh, but before becoming uh, an English language teacher, I've worked in different other organizations. Uh, started with the Peace Corps as uh, the uh, language and culture facilitator for uh, Peace Corps volunteers who come here in Morocco. I work for Francis. Um, but over the last two years, after participating in IBLP, we started uh, some kind of work in the field. Um, we kind of created a local branch for MATE, which is Moroccan Association for Teachers of English. There's a Moroccan uh, national branch, but there are also like local branches in, pro in, in regions and also provinces, which are like in smaller cities. Uh, we created that last year and we started uh, working together as English language teachers. Uh, one of the activities that we've lately started was creating that association and also working on the access, pro uh, like starting an access program in, uh, in the area. Um, so six girls from my school, I actually like worked with six girls from my school to attend and get into classes uh, for, for the access program this year, which is kind of uh, so much fun. I work with high school kids, um, let's say between six, 15, 16 till 18. But when I started IVLP, uh, my main concern was um, getting to know more the American culture because I have worked with Peace Corps volunteers and uh, certain things did not make sense at that time to me. You know, when you see someone do something, you're like, oh, why is that guy doing that? Or why is that guy speaking that way or whatever? So a lot of things were, did not make sense. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's quite interesting because when you're in people's shoes, you start understanding things more, you know, in a, in a, in a clearer way. Um, I've had like uh, several groups of, of Peace Corps, like five groups or so, or even more sometimes because uh, we had exchanging groups. They were like, we, we would get a group at the beginning and then they would change. So we worked, I worked with them for five training periods, but over, the, over those five training periods, I worked with, you know, many different groups uh, among Peace Corps volunteers. But, uh, you know, so you get a chance to meet people from uh, the north, people from the south, people from the middle, of, you know, west coast and east coast and all that. But it just never occurred to me that the difference in terms of like accents and language and even like sometimes some words, that it was related to, you know, areas of, of the United States. I, I, when I was working there, it just seemed like it was uh, just a difference in accents or, you know, in a social background or whatever, until we went there and we had like sessions on American English, um, understanding the dynamics, you know, that, that go into the, I mean, understanding the fact that within the American culture, there are some subcultures, you know, People from the South are more conservative and they were, you know, getting to, uh, because our group went to Greensboro and it was quite interesting to figure out uh, about how conservative people can be, even in the United States, because at some point I thought that religious, for example, belief or stick into religion in, in, some, in some areas, like here in Morocco, for example, you speak about religion, it's dominant because everybody goes to the mosque and everybody... Uh, does the prayer and everybody uh, fasts Ramadan and everybody does it. But so I, and when I was with Peace Corps volunteers, we talked a lot about, about religion and all that. But, and so I got a perspective that people do not care about religion and they just do not give it that much importance. But when we went to, for example, to Greensboro, we had a visit to one of the churches and you see people coming on Sunday and everybody's there. I mean, it's it's true that uh, the focus and that activity was not really a uh, religious ritual itself, but it was uh, that people get there together, uh, doing good things, you know, gathering, you know, talking about issues that are related to other countries. It's not just in the area and doing that from a religious perspective. And I, and I remember that we had a side talk with, with a, a friend who was there, um, uh, one of the, uh, one of the, uh, residents of Greensboro and we were talking about the difference between Islam and uh, Christianity and I could see the flag of Morocco in the in the church there and he was explained that people have been there from Morocco and all that that was quite interesting and you know a lot of things as I said like a lot of things did not make sense when I was here even when I was I mean I had a lot of contact with with Americans as I said I had a lot of questions about a few a lot of things related to culture related to differences related to diversity related to religion and all that 
And then once you get there, you start seeing things like in the field, and you're like, oh, this makes sense now. You know, <laughs> it's it's kind of a lot of you know the perspective has changed, and that you know, I I thought a lot of things made sense with that visit. Exactly. I mean, specifically those 21 days or 20 days that we spent there. Um, you know, opened my mind a lot about a lot of things, actually. Awesome. That's wonderful that it could 